Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Gwen Stefani is ready for girls to be mad at her as Niall Horan jokes she's mean on The Voice. Exclusive. Niall Horan may have developed a father-son relationship with Blake Shelton last season, but Gwen Stefani is a different ballgame. In a group interview with coaches on The Voice, the slow hand singer, 30, revealed the most shocking part about season 24 thus far. How mean Gwen Stefani is to me, Horan tells people exclusively, jokingly adding, it's honestly truly shocking. Fellow coaches John Legend and Reba McIntyre burst into laughter as Stephanie adds, all of the girls in the whole world are going to be so mad at me. We're playing. It's a joke. He likes it. Queen, Reba McIntyre is channeling Blake for the voice. I'm gonna win this thing, exclusive. Meanwhile, McIntyre turns to Horn to check in. Is it bad? Do you take it serious? I'll text you later. Horan jokingly responds as McIntyre says, just let me know. Elsewhere in the interview, Stephanie opens up about vying for the country hopefuls now that McIntyre is on board. I was really nervous about it because I used to watch Blake Shelton. If a country artist was on there and Blake presses, I'm gonna press. Because he knows and I don't. The Hollaback Girl singer says of her husband. But over the years, I feel like I've learned what I think is good. And it's been really interesting, but this season I was like, OMG, it's Reba. That's another level. It's been fun. In May, McIntyre opened up to people about joining the series. The country lane, I'm taking over for Blake, so I'm going to represent country music. He's got big boots. I don't know what size those boots are, but they're big, so I'm going to really work hard to make him proud, she said of Shelton, 47, who completed his final season the show in May. While McIntyre is no stranger to the show, she's previously served as a mega mentor multiple times. The Grammy winner said she still had plenty of catching up to do. Joan and Niall are all really funny and clever and always have so many smart things to say. So I've got my work cut out for me, said McIntyre. I'm most excited about basically getting started and I'm sure that I'll have lots of help, lots of advice, lots of people coming around saying, you can do this, you can do that. And I'm not afraid at all. I think it'll be a very fun adventure. Gwen Stefani has always been a force to be reckoned with in the music industry, but her role as a coach on The Voice has shown a different side of her, one that isn't afraid to ruffle a few feathers. In a recent exclusive interview, Stephanie opened up about her approach to the show and how she's fully prepared for some of the female contestants, and perhaps even some fans, to be mad at her. This comes on the heels of some playful ribbing from fellow coach Niall Horan, who has jokingly dubbed her mean for her competitive spirit on the show. But is Gwen Stefani really mean? Or is she simply a woman who knows what she wants and isn't afraid to go after it? If you know Stefani, it's not surprising that she leans into her toughness when it comes to the voice. After all, her career is a testament to grit, determination, and a refusal to back down, even when the odds were stacked against her. The Gwen Stefani we know Stefani's rise to fame began in the early 1990s as the lead vocalist of No Doubt a ska punk band that broke out with their 1995 album Tragic Kingdom. With her platinum blonde hair, bold red lipstick, and unapologetic attitude, Stephanie became an instant icon. But what really set her apart was her ability to blend styles, both musically and personally. She was a woman fronting a predominantly male band, exuding femininity while also embracing the raw, aggressive energy of punk rock. That duality has defined her ever since. As a solo artist, Stephanie continued to defy expectations. She shifted from rock to pop, blending dancehall, hip-hop, and electronic music into her sound. Albums like Love, Angel, Music, Baby, 2004, and The Sweet Escape, 2006, were commercial smashes, but they were also deeply personal. In songs like What You Waiting For and Hollaback Girl, Stephanie confronted her own insecurities her frustrations with the music industry, and her desire to prove herself. This is the Gwen Stefani that fans have always loved, someone who is unafraid to speak her mind, embrace her contradictions, and challenge the status quo. So, when she says she's ready for the girls on The Voice to be mad at her, it's not coming from a place of malice. It's coming from a place of experience and wisdom. Competition and compassion on The Voice, Stefani has often been seen as the nice coach balancing out the fiery energy of her male counterparts. But this season, 
things have taken a bit of a turn. Fellow coach Niall Horan has joked about Stephanie being mean, pointing out that her competitive edge has been sharper than ever. But Stephanie is quick to clarify. It's not about being mean. It's about pushing the contestants to be their best. I want them to be mad at me, Stephanie said in an exclusive interview, laughing. I know that sounds crazy, but it means they care. It means they're invested. If someone's mad at me because I didn't pick them or because I pushed them too hard, that's okay. That's part of the process. Stephanie's approach is rooted in her own experiences in the music industry. As a woman who broke into a male-dominated genre and then went on to have a wildly successful solo career, she knows firsthand how tough it can be to succeed and how much harder it can be for women. I've had to fight my whole career, she explained. Whether it was in No Doubt or as a solo artist, there were always people telling me I couldn't do it or that I wasn't good enough. So, when I see these young women on The Voice, I see myself in them. I want them to know that they have to be tough, that they have to fight for what they want. And sometimes that means I'm going to push them harder than they're comfortable with. That's not to say Stephanie is all tough love, though. She's also known for her compassion and ability to connect with the contestants on a personal level. Throughout her time on The Voice, she's mentored countless young artists, helping them navigate the highs and lows of the music industry. It's a balance, she said. I want to be there for them emotionally, but I also want to prepare them for the reality of this business. It's not easy, and if they're going to make it, they need to be ready for that. Niall Horan's playful teasing Niall Horan, the former One Direction member and fellow The Voice coach, has been quick to notice Stephanie's tougher stance this season. In a recent episode, he joked that she was mean, teasing her about her competitive side. But it's clear that the teasing comes from a place of mutual respect and admiration. Gwen is the best, Horan said in an interview. She's one of the sweetest people I've ever met, but she's also incredibly driven. I think that's what makes her so great on this show. She's not afraid to be tough when she needs to be, but she also genuinely cares about these contestants. Horan's comments highlight the unique dynamic on The Voice this season, where the coaches aren't just competing to build the best team they're also learning from each other. For Stephanie, that means embracing her inner competitor, even if it means a few contestants and coaches might think she's being a bit harsh. The bigger picture ultimately, what Stephanie's approach on The Voice reveals, is a deeper understanding of what it takes to succeed in an industry that often isn't kind to women. She's not just coaching these contestants to sing better or perform with more confidence, she's preparing them for the challenges that lie ahead. I've been through it all, Stephanie said. I've had the highest highs and the lowest lows. I've had moments where I wanted to give up, where I didn't think I could keep going. But I did. And that's what I want these girls to understand. That it's not always going to be easy. But if you keep pushing, if you keep fighting, you can make it. In an era where female empowerment is more important than ever, Stephanie's message is both timely and necessary. She's not interested in being nice for the sake of it, She's interested in helping young women realize their full potential, even if that means they're going to be mad at her for a while. I'm okay with that, she said, smiling. Because in the end, if they're mad at me, it means they care. And that means I've done my job. As for Niall Horan's jokes about her being mean, Stephanie takes it all in stride. After all, if being tough and pushing her team to greatness makes her mean, then so be it. Because, as Gwen Stephanie has proven time and time again, She's not here to be liked. She's here to win. And if a few girls get mad along the way, well, that's just part of the process.